Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Tanks Gaming today with a new game, Total War Warhammer. I have been waiting quite a while for this game, this particular game. I'm a big fan of the Total War series, uh, Warhammer as well. And they finally merged the two, uh, let's call it universes. Um, actually, if Warhammer, I would even be a bigger fan of this game if it would have been Warhammer 40k. But still, Warhammer is also very nice. Uh, I never had the opportunity to play the tabletop game, uh, to be honest with that. I just got into it with, uh, I think, was it a DOS game? I don't remember which, where, where, where it was. It was, uh, it was a Warhammer 40k on, either it was, no, it was not DOS. I think it was Windows 59 with the Space Marines and everything. And then I got into the normal Warhammer. There had been a couple of video games as well, mostly RTS. Uh, so let's see how the two universes play together. So we are going into the campaign. We are going to a new campaign. Uh, there you see we have the different uh, classes we can choose. We have, of course, the Empire. Um, for two and a half millennia, the Empire has been formed. Bulkward, yeah, you can read that stuff by yourself. Uh, it is like, uh, how you would call it? In the Warhammer 40k uh, universe, the Empire is with the Emperor, the uh, immortal Emperor who lives on his strange throne. Um, yeah, uh, which is interesting. And I just read here uh, on the on the on the faction mechanics. Uh, we can only capture territory belonging to the vampire counts or any other human factions except for Nor Norska. Office uh, offices lords may be assigned into offices, gran granting them a unique title and bonus. Uh, technologies branches are like to very linked to various buildings which is normal like the text tech tree uh victory objectives we could do change those i think or is that no they're fixed they're like the different different objectives we have a uh, short campaign victory or the long campaign victory uh short campaign yeah that person belonging belonging to the warriors of chaos faction exists only in the following region chaos wastes and sure yeah that's okay um, yeah, but uh, I probably will start with them, but let's check the other other races as well. We have the Dwarfs. The Dwarfs can only capture territory belonging to Greenskins or other Dwarf factions. Yeah. Choose to use a network of underground tunnels to avoid impassable terrain and enemy armies. Cool. Uh, yeah. Enemy actions result in grudge missions, <laughs> all of which must be settled in order to achieve campaign victory so i guess what the dwarfs could be the dwarfs in warhammer 40k actually i don't know Should, are they supposed to be the space marines i really need to uh, to read into again into the normal warhammer universe uh, not the warhammer 40k universe of course we have the green skins or uh, how the old, uh, how they are known in other games orcs um, yeah, they can only capture territory, territory belonging to dwarves or green screen factions. Uh, fightiness, yeah. Love fightiness leads to in fighting between troops, resulting in attrition. But you see, it's they are they're literally orcs, even though they called green skin in the Warhammer universe. We have the vampire counts. I do not remember this faction at all. But it could be that they are sort of the elders in the 40k universe. I think, like, yeah, with the undead. Nah, the undead was, was a different faction at a, of completely, but with man, <laughs> They're walking in sync. That looks kind of bad or interesting. But they were skeletons. Uh, but, uh, so that makes kind of sense. That's cool. And, of course, we have the Warriors of Chaos. The Chaos is like the... Enemy of the light, so to say. Uh, Horde, the faction has no settlements. Infrastructure and military improvements are linked to each individual Chaos Horde Lord. Chaos Horde, cool. Uh, corruption, chaos, corruption can be spread in enemy territory, leading to public order problems and even chaos rebellions. 
That's a cool mechanic, so I guess we are going to initial challenge hard, okay. I, I'm not going to start off with them right away for my first impression video. I'm going to start with the Empire for my first impression video. Even though the dwarfs would be the easiest. Yeah, easiest dwarf in his initial challenge. But... Yeah, numerous enemies. We are going to start with the Empire. So I'm going to load in. Oh, we, we're not done yet. Okay. Um, Emperor Karl Franz. Enable introduction. Yeah. Or Balthasar Gelt. Mm. That looks more like... Mm, I don't know. Balthasar Gelt? Nah. This one looks like... Uh, um, uh, Kingdom of Heaven, the the guy with uh, what was it, Lepra, in Jerusalem, the the the, the Christian go uh, god, the Christian uh, king, with with the golden mask and everything, and he mo looks more like a Roman legionnaire or a, a centurion sort of so to say. I relate more to him, so I'm going to choose him for the starting difficulty. We are going to go to easy, so we are not, uh, so I'm not dying in the first few minutes. Of the campaign and we are going to start the campaign and I'm back the loading time is okay could be a little bit faster in my opinion but I like the intro so far Looks like a white raven. I like that. A little bit of Game of Thrones in it. <laughs> Even now, we make haste to the Emperor's ancestral capital. But there's been mention of Nick spider claw to lead an attack on Fort Dog's walls. My charge is Karl Kranz, the true leader of Gal Maraz. But as he fights to secure his status as Emperor, will his name strengthen the nation? So it looks like we start with a battle against Greenskins, against the Orcs. Uh, so I guess it will be a, some sort of tutorial how the the camera and all the movement stuff works on the map. And I love that about the Total War series, the inspiring talk at the beginning of a battle. So my wheel, yeah. WASD is move, move to move the camera. There are the Greenskins. And we are already firing mortar shells into them. Uh, this seems to be allies. But also we have been firing mortar shells. That's cool. Yep. Okay. Okay. The 
Be sure to join the fight yourself. Okay, I just have these two units. Uh, the Emperor and Hellebardiers. Yeah, so we are going to move on. Just one moment. Yeah, Mara. Okay. <clears throat> and I'm back. And yeah, I can't control the mortar teams, but I just can control the Hellebardiers and the Emperor. And I guess I can assign the Emperor to uh, to. Nope, he is running. Okay, <laughs> I didn't want that. I can move him in there. Um, can I group? Hold talk about group with them. No, okay. I, I don't I don't assign them to to anything. But that's like with right click you can position your troops again. This is like yeah, we are going to run. Run I said. Oh I used too much time, I think. <laughs> My troops are already in battle up here. Front that's pikeman, spearman. And over here we have what are those? Musketeers, musketeers, handgunners. Actually handgunners, so the emperor comes back here. I'm wondering uh, how how his hero abilities are, if he has any hero abilities. Ulrich. So they are in close quarter combat and you can zoom in pretty nicely into the thick of battle. You see that here, the Orc Green Skill, Hellebardist, Orc, Orc Boys. And you should go over here and then you can fall into their back. I don't know if it is smart or not. We might lose our hero here already. Ooh. <laughs> I think that wasn't good for morale of the enemy team. He, sw he swings his hammer and a lot of people fly away. Yeah, you see, he's uh, the moral is already blinking, which is good. That means they probably will start to flee pretty soon. As soon as they flee, yeah, that's a mechanic which was in Warhammer, uh, which was in Total War all the as always. The morale of the enemy troops, uh, or, or of troops, or even of your own troops, you can get like... Uh, pretty bad morale then your troops start to flee which isn't good for your troops what are those actually goblins the goblins how do the goblins look like that's the little guys with the spears between the orcs and he is going nuts with his hammer here okay now we have more command of more troops those as well cool they are firing in here into the orc boys, yes. I have to halberdiers and the sword fighters. I'm going to you redirect here. Uh, where is my commander? Yeah. Go like this. Uh, where are my gunners? Okay, they're firing. What are those guys? Those were Swordsman Infantry. Uh, how about you guys go in the thick instead of letting the Emperor fought be by fight by himself? Uh, that looks like a hero unit. You should start shooting at those guys. Just because you can. Uh, how is our empire doing? It's doing pretty okay. What are those guys? Trolls, monstrous infantry. Okay, he's not working that good against trolls, our emperor. Uh, I could just group, set formations. 
toggle fire at will, so they will shoot at will, which is good. Uh, okay. Which is nice over here. Get in there. Get in there. Mow them down. Ooh, is that enemy artillery or is the friendly artillery? Enemy general, okay. That's not good. He's going to overrun my cannoneers as well as my... Oh, crap. Where do we have a spear guys? Spear guys need to go into goblin cover, goblin warriors on wolves. I guess that's like the enemy cavalry. Uh, get some more spear guys here. Like this sh it seems like more cavalry as well. Uh huh. There is more cavalry. The swordsman, no, this spearsman into that. The swordsman keep on fighting on. Oops, that's enemy swordsman. Where is my swordsman? Uh, this one over here. Keep on fighting on those. Uh, where is my general? Over here is the enemy general. Swordsman in there. What else is this? Uh, they are nearly fleeing. Oh, that's artillery from the walls which hurt me. Which is not very nice. I would love that those guys could, could get into battle as well. How you guys, how about you guys keep fighting the trolls as well as you guys and the rest of you here should be fighting over here. How about we fire attack those things here? We killed the enemy general, which is good. Uh, our, our musketeers or hand gunners, what was it called? Yeah, hand gunners should keep firing at the enemy. At the enemy, uh, there are actually archers, goblin archers. Okay, so we fight with uh, with nice with with, with gunpowder, and the enemy actually has to fight with archers. Okay, actually, go in here. Go in there, attack at will. Yeah, you see, that's my mortar team, or was my mortar team, which could overrun by enemy cavalry. So you sh you should always try to keep your mortar teams uh, covered, so they can't get outflanked. And we have we have the last of the enemies on the run, which is cool. Looks like that was all of it. Yeah, continue campaign. We won the first battle. But not, uh, not, but do not celebrate too much, for the gods will look ill upon he who came near to defeat. Okay, so we didn't do that well, I guess. And I'm back on. This is the campaign map. We can zoom out a little bit. We can move around the camera with WASD or what? What's how some YouTuber call it? So we have Grundberg. I think that's. Successionist, uh, like rebels, enemies, minor settlement. Those are neutrals, and I think those are allies actually. No, nope, also neutral. Uh, the green, yeah, run faction armies campaign map. Okay. Examine the position of three importance. Okay, so that that was a uh, position we have to examine for this part of the tutorial. Then this is a Marienburg. Interesting, because there is a Marienburg somewhere in today's Poland, which used to be the order, Teutonic order, I think, I believe. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure. <laughs> oh no, it was the the Great Deutsch Order. Uh, it used to be in the in Middle Ages very it's a famous uh, Order of Knights, which is cool. And we have to examine this town here. Last one. Okay, 
against you and march against Altor when their strength is sufficient. Okay, interesting. So we secessionists cannot be allowed to defy your rule and shield their own powers. The time to move against them is now. Okay. I have to move against this 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 settlement here. We are going to do that. I have to segment. I have to select him. So that's my army. That works like in the old Total War uh, games. Uh, new is the unit count. I think uh, that wasn't part of the old one. Uh, I have seven out of twenty, so I can get thirteen more units into this army. I have my commander or my emperor front, Karl Front. I have a unit of swordsmen. I have a unit of halberdiers. I have spearmen. I have hand gunners. I have some crossbowmen, and I actually got Reichsguard, uh, which will be, which is cavalry. That's cool. But before we do that, I would like to go into Altdorf. I cannot. Okay, I have to actually follow that. I have to go move over here. Yeah. <laughs> army towards this point okay stand ready to take up arms for your cause, my um they will be ready to fight in the battles that are to come. okay I can I can select the army and I have a recruitment plan okay that's how it works in this game so I can recruit another swordsman regiment uh, or company as well as a spearman company I'm going with the swordsman for sure um, okay I can even continue interesting um i have one spear two spear i have one two sword uh i like more sword Excellent choices all. Be aware that your army must remain stationary to train the new okay they train it out in the field okay interesting that's cool may be made to your finally we can go into the capital Oh, okay. Care. Okay, this this is part of those those towns split from me. I think because they're, yeah, empire successionists. I can't do anything. What I can do, or I could do, if I had enough stuff, I could upgrade it to three, uh, the village to three, altar to town, then to city, and then to city state. Uh, I also have a harbor. An imperial wharf actually uh, and this one a training field and it seems like I have to click on the training field because of this thing there actually let, let us see what we have to do he will tell us yeah I have to do that which 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 will increase the halibardist we can then build halibardists uh, spearmen with shields these are just normal ordinary spearmen and crossbowmen. So we are going to do that. It will take two turns though. Okay, now we can earn the turn down here, which is also like in the old Warhammer games. It's uh, Total War games. Sorry, I'm always going to go Warhammer because I'm really happy they merged the two universes. Uh, it's this uh, sand clock. You press it, you end the turn. All the other nations and factions are getting a turn to move. And then it's your turn again. Okay, so we have a mission issued by whoever who issued it. I thought I'm the emperor. I should issue the missions. Never mind. Our the objective: defeat an army belonging to the following factions in battle. Empire successionists. Reward will be a thousand treasure or a thousand gold into our tre tre treasury. I can zoom into the location. Okay. Winds of matching change. Uh, realm of chaos. Oh, okay. That's not good. Low high magic winds. Okay. Winds of magic. They're really high in this area. They're pretty low in this area. I, that that's interesting. That's an interesting mechanic, guys. I won't lie. Uh, but how do I get back in here? Ah, okay, just a mouse wheel, which is cool. Um, yeah. Where are the missions? Normally you can click on missions. Missions and quests. One mission. Engage the enemy. 
I have to engage Helmguard. Okay, how much time do I have? Um, doesn't seem that there is time that I'm losing time there. Okay, I have Aldorf. Um, garrison detail. Okay, in Aldorf there are some troops garrisoned. That's okay. That mean meaning for me, I can actually move over here. So I'm going to move over here because I would like to finish this mission here. Um, yes, I know the army must rest. So we sp switch the turn. Um, okay, he's actually coming over here. And now, capture Grandberg. Uh, is there a time limit on it? No, that's okay. That's okay. But if you look here, we have now two missions. Okay, research technology. The first, mines in Aldorf stand ready to improve your method of war. Task them with direction, reward, research technology. Okay, which is the technology tab? Click on that thing here. Um, no, that's not it. Uh, recruit Lord. Recruit a hero. Rename selected settlement. No, we don't do that. Um, yeah, I know that is already here. Oops, no, that was the wrong thing again. Um, where is my research tab, though? Is this one here? Technology! Here it is. Okay, let's close that. State Troop Sergeant. State Troop Sergeants. Usually is uh, unit experience 2 for Empire Infantry. Unit recruits. Okay, State Troop Standards for Empire Infantry units and speed for Empire Infantry units. Barracks. I just have a relay field, so I just can choose one of those three, I guess. Um, and it will take eight turn till it's done. <laughs> I'm going with the experience boost thing. Yeah, I'm going with that. That should be do good. I should be doing that right now. Okay. So first we are going to take this settlement here. And it used to be that you could like siege, uh, auto resolve, fight the battle, or encircle. Or yeah, so I could starve them out instead of attacking them. Or quick save. I actually can do quick save. So I probably could do all the resolve and would win it. But we are going to try the encircle method here. And it looks like that we cannot build up like any siege weaponry, which we, we used to be in the other Total War series. But anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you did like the video. If so, please hit the like button. You can also subscribe to my channel or follow me on the Facebook or Twitter. The links will be in the video description. And like always, guys, I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.